and it's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Virgo, you have no worries. This is Jupiter. This is luck. See what happens in Taurus season. Hey there, Virgo. How are you? It's your first fairy here. Nice to see you again. Welcome in and welcome back to the 100 Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So let's read some cards for you, Virgo. Let's take a look at what's going on. We're going to start off with an oracle card for these monthlies. And uh, we're now into Taurus season. So this is an abundance or an attraction or law of attraction deck. It'll be in the description box below. We're going to get one oracle deck to set the tone of the read. And, of course, this is a general read. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And it's for all Virgo placements. Wherever you have Virgo in your chart. One more, they said right there. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. There was one underneath that that I just slipped underneath the deck. Because that's what we do. But you might not see, Virgo, but you have support. Isn't that beautiful? You have support. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. That's a smart move, Virgo, because when you surround yourself with people that support you um, and support your dreams, they see you. They're not competing with you. There's no envy or jealousy or sabotage. And that is a reflection of what's going on inside of you, Virgo. So when you see people around you supporting you, just know that that's a reflection of the support that you give others, that you give yourself. And that's, that's positive. That's, that's kind of cool when you kind of take a step back and go, wow, I have really good people around me. Ambition. Love it. This is what you might not see. I am ambitious. And do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. Virgo, I'm feeling you. I am. It's a waste of time to worry about what other people think of you, of what it is that you're doing, creating your product, your service, whatever. There's only one you, Virgo. There's only one you. Yeah, sure, there's lots of Virgos out there, but there's only one you. So let's see what the tarot has to say about the support that Virgo not only has around them, but that they give. Let's take a look right there. Two of Pentacles. See, you're, you've got a lot of things on the table, Virgo, and you make it look easy. Other people see you and they might say, look, Virgo's so lucky. Ah, they don't see the work that Virgo puts in because Virgo makes it look so easy, almost entertaining. Ten of Swords. There is a painful ending that is crossing this juggling. So um, what I'm seeing with this Two of Pentacles is you're juggling belief and disbelief. You're juggling trust and sus, right? So when you take a step back, as I said at the very beginning, and take a look at who's supporting you, don't be sus. Believe. Higher self. Be patience. Patience, and this is the alchemist. This is taking two elements, fire and water, so passion and love, and really combining them. So what is it that you're doing, Virgo? Do you love it passionately? Mm. My grandmother used to say, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. There you are. This is Taurus energy. The kings are fixed. Fixed earth is Taurus. However, this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Masculine. So this is, your focus is your stability, your security. Beautiful. In the past, more Taurus energy. Six of Pentacles. This is bringing to the table. You know what you bring to the table, Virgo, and you expect that of others. And it looks to me with that support card, you are, I'm going to say finally, because most Virgos get taken advantage of for a long time until they don't. And this is you expecting what you bring to the table to be brought to the table. If not, you do not have time. You do not waste your time on being negative or a negative people. In the future, Queen of Cups. This is a beautiful, intuitive queen. This is listening to your intuition and being very kind and passionate to yourself and to those around you. How do you see yourself? It's the Four of Wands. How other people see you is the Hanged Man. Your hope and your fear is taking a leap of faith on something new. 
Ooh, and justice. This is finding balance as our first card out. Also seeks balance. This is doing what's right, what's fair. This is walking away from those that wronged you, forgiving them within so that you can walk away and start something brand new without them. That's their karma, is not being in your life. They have to see, watch, see from the sidelines because you've put up boundaries. If you're not bringing anything to my table, I'm not interested, says Virgo. You're not interested. Bottom of the deck. And that which you might not see. Are you starting something new online, Virgo? With the Page of Swords? Are you starting a new service? Selling a new product? New podcasts? New, ooh, income streams. Are you learning? Six of Swords. You're moving somewhere. I feel like it's, for those of you who haven't really, and I was one of those people, haven't really had much to do with the internet, you're discovering it. Six of Swords and moving towards something new with the Fool card and the Knight of Cups. And it's this is the creative night. This is whatever you're doing creatively, you're taking online. Ooh, I'm loving this. I know this energy. It took me, I recorded here on the table uh, tarot reads for a year before even uploading every day just to get into that Virgo energy of routine, of changing my routine. Take the kids to school, set up, and we had different setups here where I was going to move the camera this way and that way. Oh, so we did a lot of experimenting and uh, got to this setup. So I know this energy of taking what it is that you love, I love reading tarot cards, and taking it to market is what I'm hearing. Taking it to the internet, taking it to a channel, a page, a website, something. And being patient with this process with the temperance card, king of swords, you got this, that which you might not see in your last read. Um, and your higher self was saying, combining that strong intuition with the King of Swords, keeping things quiet. Maybe you haven't launched your website, your channel just yet. And keeping it quiet until the time is right with the Temperance card, knowing. There it is, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. I'm going to say that this might be something brand new. So I'm going to put this page right above the new creative projects or project or, um, again, channel. Uh, podcast, anything that you are doing creatively, this King of Swords is going to know when the time is right to take those steps that you have been planning with the Six of Swords. Focus and Foundation is, I love the King of Swords and the uh, King of Pentacles combination. They don't let their emotions get in the way of decision making, which I can really appreciate. Some might say that in a doctor's case, oh, a King of Swords and a King of Pentacles combination, they don't have the uh, bedside manner. Well, when it comes to, let's say, surgery, and as someone who has, five, has had five sections, I want a king of swords who knows what he's doing and not get emotional <laughs> when I'm cut open. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, and that's just an example um, of the energy. And the energy is, I don't need someone like soft and mushy when it comes to decisions, money, money-making decisions. Yeah, Virgo, I know you feel me. Um, King of Pentacles, your focus and foundation is what you're manifesting with the Magician. And the Magician can make something out of nothing. And the Queen of Swords, look at this. I love this energy. This is the Communication Queen. So it could be that you're starting, let's say, a new channel or a new um, podcast about how to invest your money in these I almost said diabolical times, but in these um, uncertain times of banking, of money, of where we're going with um, digital currencies and all the rest of it, this Queen of Swords is a communicator. Uh, she speaks the truth. This is Libra energy, which we have in the Justice card here. We have Aquarian energy as well, but these, these energies are no bones about it, um, no emotions detaching from the expectations 
And if something, let's say, that you've invested in, whether it be a stock or a bond or whatever, a crypto something or other, and you express how it is that you can make your money work, maybe juggling different income streams, moving towards um, industries or investments that people might not see. There was a time that people thought crypto was crazy. Look at it now, right? Done just using that as an example. These are energies. In the past, the Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups. That which you, I see this Ace of Cups is self-love and what it is that you love to do. It could be on the creative, but it could be also you love to invest money and take care of other people's money and make money grow. It is a very, and strength, look at that. It is a very earth sign thing to do when you put money into a, let's say a, an investment and then you, you check it and you check it and it's growing, it's growing. You, that, that makes you feel good. That, that's a good feeling. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a Capricorn. Strength. Having the strength and bravery to do what you love is what I see here. It's what I see. And there it is, the Knight of Cups. Really taking it as I'm here and taking it to market. Queen of Cups. Let's see what this Queen of Cups in the future, with all of these thoughts, with all of this like no bones about it sort of uh, sword energy. Let's see what this Queen of this cup, Queen of Cups has put got some walls up. So do you have walls around your heart, around your home, Virgo? Around your wishes. Okay, with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands and Nine of Cups. This is taking action to make your dreams come true. Listening to your intuition with the Queen of Cups. And really, I'm feeling keeping things quiet with the King of Swords until you know the time is right. Okay. So this is really setting boundaries. Maybe for those that weren't supporters of you, that told you, oh, you can't make any money at being a photographer or, or a filmmaker or... Um, a musician or anything in the creative fields and this could be also AI creativity um, AI development app development there's also um, when it comes to swords that's technology for me and when you have a lot of swords on the table in combination with Pentacles so it tells me that your ideas are going to make you money and those people that don't see it and support you you're listening to your intuition you're keeping sort of at bay your home, your ideas, what's going to make you, bring you legacy, bring you um, notoriety is what I'm hearing. Making those dreams come true is what this Queen of Cups is really protecting. Okay. And there it is. I see the home in behind the Nine of Wands. And there it is. The Four of Wands. Justice. Okay, Virgo. Okay. And temperance. Okay, okay, okay. When I have two clarifiers that take me back to the original 10 card spread. So home to you might be working from home on the internet. Home to you might be the internet. Might be where things are going with AI into the age of Aquarius with the King of Swords and being patient with where those things are moving to. You're putting in money, investment, time into these new, let's say, um, areas or industries of investment. And it could be in technology. It could be in AI. Then it says justice to the last card out, which we will clarify, but that tells me that the, the potential outcome could be that you, whether it be legalize, um, get the, the patents or trademarks for what it is that you are creating, that you are protecting with the Nine of Wands. Hang man is how other people see you. And in this card is the crystallist form. You haven't yet released, uploaded, what it is that you're working on with this hanged man. You're still in chrysalis form. So, that's how other people see you. Ooh, two swords having to make a tough decision and not seeing the results. 
being patient with that decision, and this is weighing heavy on you with the Ten of Wands. You're still going. You still have all these responsibilities on your back, but you are still moving forward. Six of Swords, you're still moving forward. And until I really feel with this Two of Pentacles, I really feel this is whatever you're doing, kind of taking it online, whatever this is. And again, like I said, you could have closed a brick and mortar like store and now you're doing online sales. You have an online store as an example. And this, with your hope and our fear, is where you are taking a leap of faith in what it is that you're creating, what you're doing. And it's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Virgo, you have no worries. This is Jupiter. This is luck. See what happens in Taurus season. And if it's online, this is where Uranus comes into place and the hair fence. It could be Oh, I see this. If you're in a nine to five and this is your side hustle, let's say this Knight of Cups, what it is that you love to do, what it is that you want to release online or upload online or create, but you got this nine to five, this regular job, this working for um, the structures, the industries, the, the systems that are in place that are weighing heavy on you, just know that you are still in crystallist form. You're not, with the temperance twice, you're not just ready yet to release, upload. Um, and, and trust me, I know this energy because I spent recording a year before uploading. A year. I wasn't even sure I was going to do it because I love my privacy so much and I thought that anything that I put online was sort of exposing me until I didn't see it that way. Hey man, right? Took a look at things from a different perspective. That this is my gift that I'm giving, right? The gift of positivity, the gift of love, the gift of, of optimism. Because this is how I read cards. Justice. This is how you see yourself. Clarified by the Four of Swords. This is mourning something. Ten of Swords, a loss. Judgment. Mourning a loss and waking up to what's right, what's fair, what's yours. Waking up. Waking up to what is right. After a loss, after mourning a loss. And taking a different direction. Really taking that loss and instead of looking at it as a loss, looking at it as a lesson. What lessons has Virgo learned? And what are they taking moving forward with them? What are they leaving behind? That's for you to know, Virgo. And the, the bottom of the deck and clarifying that internet page, that page of swords, is the Knight of Wands and taking action when the time is right. With temperance here twice, when the time is right, and maybe when you get things legalized, this is when you take it to market. Ooh, Virgo. I'm loving these reads for you. Okay, let's let's get some angel numbers on this. I see 624 and then 426. Let's do 426 first. I got it right here. You are being guided to surround yourself with those who lift you up and encourage your light to shine. The support first card out. Oh my goodness, I love it when the cards talk. Six, six, two, four. Yes, six, two, four. Your angel team is drawing close and encouraging you to do what you love. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. We went through this. Now it is the time for you to spread your wings and fly high and really launch whatever it is that you're doing with the Page of Swords twice. Justice, twice. Temperance, twice. Ooh, and that fool card, hope and our fear. Virgo, I'm gonna do 210, I see it right there, 210. Last one, Virgo. God and angels are welcoming you back to your truth. You are reconnecting with the pathway that is right for you. That's what I see for you, Virgo. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care.
from your forest fairy. Bye for now.